Greetings friends, my name is Richard Doms and you're about to listen to a 20-minute collage of audio recordings of The Alan Pearl Show, broadcast live on WLMD Radio, Laurel, Maryland, in 1975. As a brief historical background, WLMD Radio began commercial broadcast operations in 1965 with 1,000 watts of power at a studio building located down at Wooded Dirt Road near Route 197 serving metropolitan Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Maryland. In 1972, Tropical Storm Agnes flooded the radio station, temporarily knocking it off the air and forcing the station to broadcast remotely from Laurel Shopping Center, located on Route 1. I was 16 years old at the time when Chief Engineer Scott Staniford hired me to clean records right after the flood in 1972. I went on to work for WLMD Radio while attending high school and college from 1972 to 1976. I became a broadcast production engineer by studying and taking a test to obtain a third class Federal Communications Commission license with broadcast endorsement which allowed me to operate the tra station's transmitting equipment. The station operated for 20 years with the call letters WLMD. I would like to express my thanks and deepest appreciation to past station owners Alex Sheftel, William Lemmer, Eric Heckman, and owner general manager Joy Altman, who brought me food on Christmas Day in 1974 when I had the station all alone playing Christmas music the entire broadcast day. In December 1985, subsequent ownership changed the call letters of WLMD to WILC and went on to move the station's studio to a new Laurel location, as well as changing the station's power and signal pattern. Today, the call letters WLMD are owned by an FM station located in Bushnell, Illinois. Several well-known radio and television personalities in the broadcast community began their careers with WLMD radio. These include well-known Baltimore, Washington radio personality, the Merson person, Ken Merson, the late Bob Lopez of WIYY 98 Rock fame, Ty Ford, whose familiar voice is heard on hundreds of commercials around the world, Baltimore, Philadelphia TV weatherman, Kurt Clyatt, proper entertainment CEO, Jeff Penn, Baltimore, Washington air personality, Kathy Whiteside, and longtime WMAL radio newsman Mark Weaver all started their professional careers at WLMD Radio. WLMD Radio was also a place of employment for the broadcast careers of some remarkable talent and very good people that includes voice actor James Herron, former longtime WRC radio traffic and news reporter Bob Gotkin, 1970s WYRE Annapolis newswoman Jennifer Wagner, WGMS announcer and humorist Art Gleiner, former WCBM Baltimore radio newsman Tom Clendenning, and major market radio talk show host Alan Prell. Radio Hall of Fame inductee Ed Walker, who teamed with Willard Scott as the Joy Boys on WRC and WWDC radio for many years, once guest hosted on WLMD for the vacationing Alan Prell. In 1972, the station gained some notoriety for launching a two-hour sex telephone talk radio program called Confidentially Feminine with host Art Gleiner, who discussed relationships and alternative lifestyles with callers from his listening audience. Tropical Storm Agnes flooded WLMD studios only months after Confidentially Feminine began airing, leading some critics of the controversial program to say, Tropical Storm Agnes was God's punishment on WLMD owner Alex Sheftel for Confidentially Feminine. Richard Nixon was barely into his second term in office in 1973 when Watergate scandal broke. It was also in 1973 that WLMD programming switched to exclusively all telephone talk radio and became known as the Talk of the Capitol, the only all telephone talk radio station serving the nation's capital during the Watergate era. Our talk show host roster included Eric Stevens, Dennis Richards, Doug Carrick, and Alan Prell. I was the producer and engineer of the Alan Prell Show, heard weekdays from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., or until sunset, whichever came first. 
operating on the Mexican Clear Channel 900 kilohertz on the AM dial, WLND signed off at sunset per an international communications agreement. Our telephone lines were always lit with callers waiting to talk to Uncle Ali, their radio pally. Alan Prell was already a well-known and established radio personality when he arrived at WLND. Alan Prell is a top-rated major market radio host at stations including WTOP Washington, WRNG Atlanta, Cairo, K-I-R-O in Seattle, and 17 years at Radio 11, WBAL, Baltimore, Maryland. I've maintained a lifelong friendship with Alan Prell, and I recently enjoyed lunch with Alan at Rip's Restaurant in Bowie in 2009. I have kept these audio recordings for over 35 years, and my purpose for creating the CD is to preserve Alan Prell and WLMD Radio's contributions to the Washington Baltimore radio history. It is my pleasure to share with you now some of the entertaining sounds of WLND Radio with this collage of audio recordings of the Alan Prell Show broadcast live in 1975. 